today folks. Here's a bit of a side by side quick comparison between some solar panels I've got here. And I thought I'd do this because I've got um, three different types here at the moment. I've got a friend's uh, solar blanket. So let's have a look. And then some folding panels. So um, this is a 250, no 200 watts folding solar blanket from Core Lighting, as you can see here, and <clears throat> this is a cheap 250 watt panel which I bought for about 200 bucks, um, and I've seen this unit badged with some other names on it that we'd be very familiar with, and it's exactly the same panel, and you could pay considerably more than that, like $400 or so. And this is a Sun Yi uh, panel, and that's a 300 watt folding panel. And it's the, the re, I, this is my original panel uh, that I bought, and it weighs about 18 kilos, and that's two 125s or 250 watts. This I bought to replace that, um, and I went for 300 watts, but this weighs eight and a half kilo so it's considerably lighter much easier this thing was a mongrel thing to manage because it's very heavy and it's I don't know it just makes a huge difference anyway only being eight kilos so I thought I'd have a look and see how these three panels compared same time of day about 11 30 in the morning when I tested these the end of April in Brisbane so we've got a, about a high 20 degree day absolutely clear skies um, everything's the same so let's just have a look at what I've connected it to okay so currently what I've got set up here is a this is a 300 amp hour lithium battery uh, there's a 45 amp lithium charger here plus and this is all from um, EV power is the manufacturer of this from Perth um, this is not mine, this is a friend of mine, so I'm just singing up for his caravan. But I had this all set up and over here we've got a, um, a Renergy, this has just been, um, this has just been released in Australia um, and it's a 50 amp DC to DC converter and it's got a solar input and an alternator input for charging from the vehicle. So currently at the moment I've got the um, core solar blanket plugged in so that was the uh, that was the test I did there and as you can see that's producing 6.7 amps I discharged this battery last night um, and it's just uh, it's a good base to put this thing on um, this lithium system was about two and a half grand I think or you know 2200 or something like that which included this and the battery and the controller and the panel meter and in here we have um, current shunt for this and also there's a current shunt in here also for monitoring from inside the van so um, they're both quite large current shunt um, units so Anyway, that's just all built up on a board at present, so um, I've just been test running it to see how it all goes. And then this will all go back into the boot of the caravan as a complete unit. That's the plan. Anyway, this, this unit here is very good. 50 amps DC to DC converter for lithium. This does AGM, uh, lead acid, wet, dry, you name it. does does all different types of battery, auto selects, but it does lithium. So I was trying to find a high current lithium charger that had very quick recovery time for this 300 amp battery. So 50 amps is great because it'll, uh, it can catch up really quick when you're on the road. Um, and in this case, this guy's got a compressor fridge and based on the calcs I've done, um, if he's parked up for three days or four days, he's, um, this will be quite discharged by the time he takes off again so I wanted something that would give him fairly fast recovery from the alternator not but it, it does do 40 amps of solar or no 50 amps a 50 amp charger so I think it's both um, anyway really nice product um, and only just released 
All right, so that's the core solar blanket. 200 watt core solar blanket, as you can see, 6.7 amps currently. Now I'll just go and swap that over and we'll have a look at the other ones are doing. Okay, so I'll just plug the El Cheapo to 150 watt folding panel in. And as you can see, 6.5 amps out of that. These three panels have all been in the sun for well over an hour. And, um, okay, so that's settled down now at 6.5. So they're all at temperature. They're all quite hot because they're obviously the dark panels. So 6.5 amps out of that one. So that's the cheapy. I'll put some links to these. Um... 6.5 okay so that's 250 watt uh, 250 watt that's the heavy folding solar panel about 18 kilos so it's a slug of a thing let me go and change over to the third panel which is the 300 watt and we'll see what that's doing okay and this is the Sun Yi 300 watt panel and 10.5 amps um, that quoted 23% efficiency on this panel now these are not expensive panels they're quite cheap and actually I saw these panels on a guy called Seek Adventure he did a comparison guy in WA and he'd bought a uh, fixed panel put on top of his four-wheel drive and compared it to an expensive panel and uh, so I thought well I want to get rid of this big heavy folding panel I've got here and I'll go do something that's a bit lighter but um, gives good good output so um, yeah so they solar panels do not do what they say they're going to do um, they rarely produce what you expect solar panels are all different but one of the things that you can't take for granted is the rated output that's stated on the panels. Um, so when they say 100 watts, that is if you take the power rated at the peak voltage versus uh, the peak voltage and the peak short circuit current, my, my guess. I don't know, I haven't done the things, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> typically, I know they used to quote actual performance on the old Solarix panels and you'd have an 85 watt panel would put out about 58 watts um, in actual you know when it was connected to something so the only real test for these things is to put them on a system you know a known load everything's the same same time of day and do a side-by-side -side comparison what this is this is a real test so you know people could um, you know possibly say oh well you know what's this what's that's what that this is real this is what it's really doing. That's connected to a system in a, that's going to be in a caravan, um, but it's a real live system, and everything's the same except the panels. So that, to me, that's as good as it gets. So, um, given how light that folding panel is from Sun Yi, I think it wins hands down. Um, the 250 um, doesn't do a bad job. Um, and it's not an expensive panel. I think it was a couple of hundred dollars, maybe um, 200 bucks. Um, it's a no brand. Um, and the blanket here from Core, I think, was not a cheap blanket. It was probably 400, maybe more, maybe 500 dollars. Not sure. Anyway, it was it was um, a fair bit more expensive. But performance-wise. Um, the other issue with that, I mean, I've got it standing up against sawhorses to um, get it to the right angle for the sun, which is what I see is always a bit of a problem with these things. And I guess if you paid a lot of money for a solar blanket, like a thousand dollars, you'll probably get a considerably better performance. There'll be a different style of cell in them. Uh, and these, the solar blanket and the two hundred dollar folding heavy panel appear to be similar types of cells the other ones are monocrystalline um, and they're just quoting you know significant improvements in efficiency well certainly I'm happy with it it's performing uh, you know considerably better than the 
250 watt because um, I think 100 watts should be about 7 amps per 100 watts if it was real so a 300 watt panel should put 21 amps out well clearly it doesn't it puts out when you first plug it in it puts out about 11 11 and a bit and then it warms up a bit and drops back um, but the 250 is putting out 10 so it's considerably less 10 a bit um, and the blanket is 6 for 200 watts um, 200 watts should be 14 so uh, I don't know that I see the value in expensive um, these expensive devices are not necessarily they don't re represent good value in my mind necessarily so um, I haven't tried a 250 watt blanket from Sun Yi don't know don't know what they're like but I'm certainly happy with particularly the weight that's the big thing uh, in the folding panels is just the, the sheer weight of that you know 18 kilos versus about eight and a half kilos it's just massive and it's just a slug and my uh, partner has great difficulty carting that around taking it in and out, loading it in and out of uh, our caravan or what have you and so it's just it's just a pain so quite happy with that uh, Sun Yi panel so I'll put some info about that anyway just thought that was interesting because I had that system set up it's interesting to do that side by side um, I'll just quickly grab the uh, the details on that Renergy thing too because that's interesting okay so here's the uh, this is the Renergy I'm using in here it's an MPPT controller the DCC 50S um, new out uh, available on Amazon I went to Amazon to get it. You can get it from Renergy itself, but um, it was free shipping from Amazon. Uh, I had to wait a few weeks for it to, for its release. Um, there will be a Bluetooth. This Bluetooth for Renergy products seem pretty good. I didn't know about these, but the guy that bought this said, uh, system had bought a Renergy 40 amp DC to DC converter for his vehicle. Uh, vehicle set up separately with its own solar panel and auxiliary battery in it, um, just for you know being able to. You run fridges and stuff separate from the caravan but so I'll put that in that seemed like a very good product so and when I was looking around um, I was looking for a high current DC to DC converter for this because because the battery you want the battery to carry be as quick as you can and the lithium can take it so um, this thing was just on the verge coming out now this has got RS485 the other energy product um, has a Bluetooth adapter called the BT1 but doesn't work on this. Now there's a BT2 coming out for this which will give uh, Bluetooth to your phone. There's an app that goes on your phone um, which I tried on the... I, I, I mistakenly bought another earlier model, uh, Renergy, and then discovered it doesn't do lithium, it only does lead acids, as do Projector and um, CTEC. I think they didn't do lithium in the smaller... But they were lower charge rate too, they're only 25 amps out. Um, so... I was looking for a, a lot better output. Well, this kills at 50 amps. That's really kick-ass, so that's good. Uh, but the BT2 is uh, is um, underway at the moment, so um, Renergy tell me that'll be out um, probably you know, in a month or two, and uh, that just plugs into it. So we'll then have a Bluetooth application that'll show how the solar's performing. Um, there's already a meter in the van, but um, nice to see what this is doing and telling it, telling you the um, how the solar and, and I guess how the you know car charging is going uh, when you're driving along. So yeah, it seemed like good products, and these are not uh, these are not expensive. Energy's really well priced. This thing was about um, three hundred and thirty dollars, three forty. Um, that's pretty bloody good for a fifty amp DC to DC converter that does alternator and solar in. Um, with the Bluetooth function on it, etc., um, and does lithium, uh, all all lead acids and lithium. So, yeah, if you're looking for one, have a look at Renergy. Pretty good stuff. Okay, that was all. Just sort of uh, do a quick panel thing on it. Cheers.